home and patio show at the Prime Osborne Center. I Know Jack's is the show that helps you find places to eat local, drink local, and be local. And I have a owner of a couple of local restaurants here, Ibrahim Gungor. And right now you're talking about food for Mavi. I'm sorry, Yamas. Yamas. I did it backwards. Taverna Yamas. Taverna Yamas is off Southside. Greek food. So what are you going to be making for us today? Today, uh, we're going to make traditionals, the goat cheese, pressed goat cheese. Uh, the pressed goat cheese, we made it a flaming cheese. We flaming cheese, flaming you guys heard cheese. that, right? Flaming cheese. Flaming goat cheese. And it's called? The Saganaki. Saganaki. It's traditionals, Greek appetizers. It's come with the pita bread and some fruit and brandy. That's gonna have it. And after that... So do we need to get the fire extinguisher ready? Because this is gonna... <laughs> yes. It's a little bit. One is the next to me. Anyway. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> so show so, us how we do this. Sure. Is it hard? We have to... Yeah. That's gonna take a few minutes. So Saganaki is uh, the fresh pressed goat cheese. It's very heavy and salty. You couldn't eat this cheese just like an appetizer. You have to mix it up with the, the alcohol. The alcohols or you have to mix it up with the lemon juice. But you have to cook it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's not very it. tasty like that. It's like eating salty, salty very salty, is, uh, yeah. rubbery. But it's, when you cook it, it can be a <laughs> yeah. salty rubber. Yeah, that's a, good, that's a good description. Let me. And then you do it with pita bread. Pita bread with the uh, extra version olive oils. On top. We're gonna on top. We're gonna bake it. When we finish the goat cheese, we're gonna put on top of the pita bread, and with the brandy. And the brandy. And the brandy. And flame it up. Flame them up with the lemon juice and ready to eat. And the thing I like about this is you guys serve, you have several Greek wines. Yes. And this is a great dish to have with those Greek wines or the Greek, the Pegasus beers. The I like that. The, yes, Alpha. I mean, I don't know too alpha much about beers, this. I'm just saying. Like a great for the Pilsener. Pilsener beer. Very, the Pilsner's, the yeah. The Pilsener beers is also the nice uh, white wine you know criticos dry white wine yeah. you can have it with not the, sweet the cheese it's not good because it cuts dries. the salt it's good you want to put that the so these in now these ones we like to put them in now if you turn it sideways yeah, it'll work. See, I was able to help you do something. <laughs> We're gonna put them, this one is in the oven. Support so more olive oil on it. Olive oils. You guys use a lot of olive oil down here. Is olive oil is the right now is the healthy, the best. <laughs> you know, if I'm you, don't use it any butters or margarine, just use the olive oil. It's very healthy. Cold press olive oil. Cold yeah. press is the best. This one in. Sorry, yeah, it's not hot, super hot yet. It's covered getting there yeah to he's used it. to cooking with gas i know this i've seen him do it sometimes he come here help me out i do just, yeah when i get it so busy i call him rather i'm not late. that much help <laughs> i might scrub some pots <laughs> my favorite part's the eating i'm a pro at that i'm not too bad at the drinking either We had a great, we had a, I don't know if you guys are, are any of you on the newsletter for I Know Jacks? You're not? So you missed out. We did a, a, a big I Know Jacks dinner at his restaurant. We had like 50 people. 
came together and we had family style dinner. Family we style. we had four courses. It was crazy. Uh, lots of food. Too much food. Enough food. I won't say too much. That's never right. It's enough. It was enough. enough. <laughs> also, is the Yamas restaurant on the south side. And um, weekend, we have a belly dancers. We did have, we have a belly a dancer. DJs. It wasn't me. Don't also, worry. Also, if you like to dance, you jump on the table, your own you table. You can stand on the table and dancing on the table. Throw napkins breaking around. Plate, yeah, throw break, the napkin. yeah, we do the whole thing. Yeah, you guys missed out on a party. We had a good time. We'll probably do that again. I don't know how soon. If they'll allow us back. I had never had this before I went to his restaurant. Now we have it almost every time we go. It's the best dishes. And, and it's, it's, it's kind of deceptive in how simple it is. It's very easy. Saganaki. Saganaki. Saganaki, flaming goat cheese. I don't know if that's what that means. That's just yes. what I say. Fleming got you. <laughs> I don't speak Greek yet. It's almost done. Yeah. So. I'll put my light on it. They're back just in time for the flaming goat cheese. What, what? Okay, now gonna have a little bit. This is brandy, of right? Brandy. Brandy. Gonna put them in. What? Opa. 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 That's my favorite. I feel like I'm on an episode of Beavis and Butthead. Fire! <laughs> Fire! Good stuff. Don't you guys think I have a really terrible job? All day, all the time, I gotta deal with these chefs making food. It's terrible. You've heard me say I have the best job in Jacksonville. I mean it. Now, just ready. Can give some samples. Let me hold that? Yeah, a little bit. I got you. See, now you can say I've done something. <laughs> What's the name of this cheese, though? If, if they wanted to buy it, what's the it name? It's a Kefalo Tiri. Kef Kefalo Kitty. Kefalo Kitty? Also, you can buy with the... I heard Kitty. Kashari. They call it a Kashari. Bulgarian, Greek, Turkish. Is a international name is a Kashari. You can buy it on the like restaurant depot. I think they have some. But not a normal store. It's hard to find. You guys even run out of it sometimes because it's so popular. Yes. So you need the pita there? Yes. Then I get the pita bread is out. Does anybody want to try some of this? Okay. One or two. You gotta cut it like a little bit of pita. I'm gonna put the plates over there if you want to play them. You can put it out front there. So yeah, don't, don't, don't be shy and, and don't think this is the end of the demonstration it's not because we're going to be doing some Still lamp cooking. 
we're, we're still cooking some stuff. We're going to have some lamb. As long as you're willing to wait the 14 hours it takes to cook it, you're good. <laughs> Isn't that what you said, 14 hours? Yes. 14, exactly, 14 hours. You're gonna have some of the burnt part. That's the key, the little burnt part. Excuse me, can you repeat the name of the cheese? Kafalo Tiri, K A F A L L O T O R I. Kafalo Tori. Saganaki. G A N A K I. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So you're gonna do another one? I have a. It's coming up. Give me a couple of minutes. I have a lot of them coming up. Yeah. Yeah. Take this one as out. You need a hot pad? Oh, I should do this one here. It's much better. It's bubbling, yeah. Yeah, you set it on top of the thing there, too. It's good. It's looking good, yeah. Looking good now. Am I am I doing well as an assistant? Yeah, the I'm excellent. Okay? Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> okay, that's gonna burn down a little bit. Oh, we're gonna go big now. I see that. I think you need a squirt gun with a brandy. <laughs> Flamethrower. <laughs> yep. And this is really what cuts the salt and the cheese down yes. is the, the lemon. What did you think? Yeah, crazy, huh? You would never think it, it's so simple. And with, with the dry white wine, that special Greek wine you got, still flaming. Yep. I could do some s'mores while we're, <laughs> you know. Okay. Let me start cutting up. Nice. It's very hot, be careful. Very hot. <laughs> you don't want to stick that to the roof of your mouth. That would be ugly. Yeah. Be careful yeah, for the lemon seed too. Let me give you a hot piece. <laughs> Somebody's listening at least. I feel like I should be doing something to help, but it's... You're doing excellent. <laughs> you already helped me out. <laughs> so what'd you think? You ever had it before? Would you do it again? Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, cool. I <laughs> get back in line. <laughs> Just bring in the, the white wine is for yeah. It's just the cheese, olive oil, the lemon, lemon, the brand and the brandy, and then flame it like a flambe. Dude, yeah, right. <laughs> Hold on one second. Where to tomorrow night? Oops. Oh, I'm sorry. It's on uh, Sunday night. Sunday night, 6.30. Yes, sir. And I don't remember where I'm at. We record them ahead of time, so. Do you remember what's in this weekend's show? My wife edits it, so she would know. What's in this weekend's show? We do a, we, we do a red sangria with the wine guy. We're going to the fish company, which actually he'll be on later on today doing Booyah Bays. So we'll be at fish company. He does a Cajun shrimp linguine on the show. My favorite dish there. And then uh, what else? Oh yeah, we do a, ga a gadget guy, so little kitchen gadgets. It's us really just cutting up and having a reason to do it. Um, I'll just be honest. <laughs> You'll learn some places, things that you can buy that are unusual. Yeah. Oh yeah, you like the egg? We did a whole thing on eggs, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's. I think it's silly. Everybody likes it. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I use, I use a knife for everything. Good. It's like you know, if you're a hammer, everything's a nail. Yamas. <laughs> yes. Y a m a s. Taverna Yamas. We're making you work today. Yeah, right? Enjoy. Okay. So everybody had a piece that wants one? He's, he goes, yeah. Because you know what we're doing next? He's going to show us how to do the lamb. And then you're going to have to get in line all over again. Oh. No, there are ribs. The lamb. So we'll make that be the last, last one there. We'll get into the. Yes, ma'am. So that was a nice little dosi dough we did there. Perfect. Would you like some? <laughs> well, you can put it over there. And then do we have pita? We want to pull that out. Yes. And then do these need to go in? Yes. Thank you, sir. Okay. No. And does that need to go up? Yeah, make it 450. I did something today. So next. Okay, next we are making traditional Mediterranean uh, lamb ribs. Is a lamb ribs is very tough, of the, you know, it's like a very small animal, very tough meat. You have to cook really long time to be getting these tenders. So I'm gonna show you how we make it, how we make it our restaurant with the lamb ribs. Uh, you guys can do your home, but it's a little dangerous. Better you guys come. Because <laughs> it's going to be 16, 17 hours cooking time. 
So like barbecue, low and slow. Low and slow. So you didn't know that Southern saying, we have barbecue that way. It's always low and slow. Low I and slow, baby. I like that. Low and slow. Low and slow. So. Now it's our... Isn't he like a whirlwind? <laughs> you should see him at the restaurant. He's all over the place. Okay. You're going to use carrot, celery, orange. Orange, okay. Rosemary, fresh orange, rosemary, lemon, mm. and fresh garlic. And an onion. A little bit of onion, just a very light, light onion. It's a nice full rack of lamb because this lamb is already clean. You don't have to take it on the skin is out. But if it's not, you have less. to pull that skin off because that's not, tough. Yeah, you have to do the skin out. But this is already it's a pulled out. You can do cut it a half, put them to the small pan. Get a celery. So you cut these in bigger chunks, but this yes. is what's going to season it, right? Exactly. So it's like making a stew. Exactly. Making like a stew. Yes. yes. Sizes of a stew. I'm putting words in your mouth here, man. I'm just. Put them like a little carrot. I've seen him do it enough times, I know. So no fingers are allowed in this. Oh, a long time, after 30 <laughs> years. I would say. You yeah. know, it is a good yeah. experience. Yeah, exactly. The garlics, fresh you, garlic. You just leave it. Do not cut it. Crush it. Just crush it. That just releases the. Release the flavors. Yep. Good stuff. And the last one, lemon. You squeeze the lemon, leave the lemon inside. Squeeze it, leave it inside. And the acid from the citrus is what helps break the meat down and make it tender. He's, he's chef. He's excellent. Uh, yes, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you're orange. so busy doing it, I thought yeah. I would say it. <laughs> it's gonna be the orange, same things. Squeeze it, leave it. Huh? Yep, stain with the oranges, go straight in. Yep. Put a little bit Citrus of rosemary. Breaks down the meat. Couple peas. Onion, that's it, not too much. Now, okay. if you guys have been, had been watching our TV show, we actually went to the restaurant and filmed him making this. And the big racks. <laughs> big racks. Big racks, and also the Saganaki. So if you want to, you can go to the YouTube channel for I Know Jax and, uh, and see that. Taverna Yama's video there. Well, that looks good. After this preparation, we have a dark beer. We have to open the dark beer. Open up. I thought that was for me. Uh, half is yours, <laughs> half is mine. <laughs> no, you're good. It's yours. <laughs> From like dark beers, half bottles, and each rug is perfect. So you're using a lager? Lager, yeah. yes. And after that, close down. Because you want to hold the moisture in, right? Moisture in. Okay, it's going to be 165 to 180, 12 hours to 14 hours. Like I said, low and slow. And low and slow. But if you guys like to sleep here a little bit, and yeah. I wake you up when they're ready. It's Good. much better. Or we can yeah. use our magic oven. Exactly. <laughs> we have a magic right oven. I'll, I'm selling this after the show. I don't know. Might want to wait a few more minutes. 
few more minutes. So let's talk about Tavarni Amis a little bit. Greek food, belly dancing. Yeah, authentic, 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 Greek. authentic, authentic Greek food. Also, I can say authentic Mediterranean restaurant. Yeah, is all like a Mediterranean, northern Mediterranean side. Like uh, usually, our restaurant is like a home cooking. I can say it's exact home cooking. And his grandma is, I mean, in the kitchen. Is crazy it's like uh, <laughs> the different between the when you go to the Mediterranean Greek or Turkey Italy when you go to the that part if you go to the regular restaurant you couldn't eat this kind of food in the regular restaurant fancy restaurant in Mediterranean because it takes too long is you have to go like a mom's and pops area that's why I think you know, they have a lot of Mediterranean restaurants, but nobody cooking to real, like authentic yeah. home meal cooking. That's why I, I opened this restaurant. And everything is a scratch kitchen. Yeah. He doesn't use any frozen items. He even makes his own yogurt. Even we're doing our own yogurt, and now we're doing our own cheese too. We buy the milk. We do, it takes like a longer, but it tastes he barely ever works. really good. Everybody now is very famous for the Greek yogurt. Yeah. We do our own Greek yogurt. <laughs> and we put the honeys or all the fruit yeah. with the walnuts. It's all it can be too. healthy. Even it's like a lot of uh, customers, they like honey because no sugars. It's really is a light and it's very healthy. Sometimes they call, they ask like, can I get a couple pounds, three pounds, four pounds yogurt? Why not? We can, yeah. you know, make and it. And he was doing the Greek yogurt before the fad. <laughs> <laughs> now, and the, the, I just like the, it's a very family oriented thing too, because it's, it's a thing where you bring the whole family in, you have a good time with the whole family. Yes. That was my favorite part is the fact that you do that. You even have the ability to buy things family style so instead of individually you can do family style as well also With, like a when you, when the when the customers come to our restaurant you can see our tables also yeah all the tables 15 20 tops yeah, 30 top 20 there, there's tops. no two top tables no it's two top a, tables <laughs> because it's all the big families table. you know so usually it's all the families get together they can come to the restaurant have a great meal drink also is a fun too and experience for the belly dancers because not many people can see the belly dancers most and of the restaurant you can see the belly dancer and you have a great girl one of the girls i know uh dances with the sword yes sword dance you don't see that every day it's a really is experience also we do maybe david the movie is uh, anthony quinn play on the Greek Zorba the, the Greek, the Zorba the Greek. <laughs> also sometimes That's we, do the 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 too. <laughs> <laughs> we do the show break and play said, yeah sure so I know you throw a lot of napkins in the air yes. a lot of napkins lots of napkins. I was gonna talk to you about how environmentally friendly that is <laughs> <laughs> for <Forgive laughs> to give you a hard time for <laughs> <laughs> do you think these might be ready I think is be ready a couple more minutes. Guys, I think it's ready. You can put the spatula under it. Two more minutes. Two more minutes? Two more minutes. Let me put the, all the plate together. So you guys want to try some of these? She's nodding her head back there. Nice to see you again. Now, have you guys learned that this is the place to hang out? You get fed well? most of the time um so right after this he's going to be on again for his other restaurant mavi and we're going to do grilled grouper i know you're not going to like it but just think hang around anyway all right <laughs> mavi waterfront grill it's it's new you've been open a couple of months now yes and it's uh it's out at the beach beach marine where nippers and that used to be um, they've upgraded the whole thing. 
really, really nice. And um, you'll find me there quite a bit. I don't know if that's a bonus, I'm just saying. <laughs> Let me do it. Better your hands than mine. You've got cook hands. Okay, now our ribs is ready. Oh, that looks nice. Also, the, the ribs, the, the, the lamb ribs, when you're cooking, some people like to eat cold. Mediterranean is very famous, cold. Uh, the mezzo platters. Kind of. Yeah. And they can use this meat, take all the this meat out. Yeah. Take the meat uh, from the bone, they can use for the breakfast as also. You can mix it up with the eggs. You can make a nice steak and eggs, like a lamb and eggs. Oh, nice. You know, I can would be eat that. I, I eat everything. What am I talking about? Okay, it's ready. You guys can't smell this, can you? I'm, I'm going to have them install that fan. That's got to be the thing, a fan that blows it all out. If I owned a bakery, I wouldn't advertise. I would just buy a big fan, blow it all out. Tell you what, let's plate one up just so we can show the guys on the internet, and then we'll say goodbye to them and then feed these guys. What's that? Perfect. He's getting artistic now. So where do we want to see that? Good. And I'm just gonna say, uh, right after this at Mavi. Mavi, we're gonna do the grilled grouper. So stay tuned, take it easy. Are you guys ready? These are mine. No. <laughs> I think we have enough. No, go ahead. <laughs>